There are 86 A's, zero nays. The motion to excuse fails for lack of quorum. After Democrats walked out Sunday night blocking any more bills from being passed in the House, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick went to the Senate floor and criticized what happened. He told us Monday the Speaker of the House, Dave Phelan, failed to keep his legislative calendar on track. I'm in charge of the calendar in the Senate, and the Speaker's in charge of the calendar in the House. And when, again, when you take Friday and Saturday off, as he did last week, and let the members go home, uh, that meant they, they lost a lot of time on the clock. But today, Speaker well. Phelan sought to Especially set the record straight. Not a single bill languished in the House because we, didn't, we weren't there for those two days. So that's, that's categorically false. The political dust-up meant the Republicans' priority elections integrity bill, SB7, died. Phelan said the House passed its version of the bill May 17th, two weeks before the session ended but that the Senate chose to form a conference committee and didn't have it ready until two days before the session ended. It had flaws all throughout. We, had, we found over 12 points of order. They realized that. We had to revise the bill. One new provision was that early voting on Sunday couldn't begin before 1 p.m., and Democrats said that targeted what African-American voters call souls to the polls. Phelan says it was a mistake. The House members were told it was going to be 11 a.m., but when he came back out, it was 1 p.m. And it was too late to fix that. 